Hey, Casimir, do you know the difference between a mathematician and a physicist? A mathematician describes a phenomenon with an equation. A physicist simulates a mechanism with objects. The non-negotiable golden principle of physics is that you can't do physics without an object. Imagine that there is nothing in the universe. No galaxies, no stars, no planets, no atoms, nothing. What would be happening? What would there be to study or to analyze? What are you staring at if not total nothingness? So we absolutely need objects to do physics. The strange thing is that you will not find the word object defined in any textbook or treatise of physics on the planet. Not a single book of physics begins by defining what a thing is. That is not totally surprising because the mathematicians who write these books have no use for objects. A mathematician's job is limited to describing phenomena with equations. Take for example a simple case, a box being pulled by a rope run through a pulley. A mathematician removes the objects and replaces them with abstract concepts. He substitutes the box with mass. He morphs the rope into a force. He does a little calculation and tells you that the mass went up because a force accelerated it. He may even theorize that it was energy that pushed the mass from below. Or he introduces a field to justify what the upward moving mass is struggling against. Of course, these are not explanations. These are nothing more than mathematical descriptions. A physicist, on the other hand, explains the mechanism so that a baby can understand it. He simply illustrates the obvious, that the box goes up because it was tied to a rope wound around the pulley. It doesn't get more complicated than that. So give yourself a pat on the back if you understood the difference between a mathematician and a physicist.